Hi, this is Amy, and today I want to show you how to use the magnifier feature on your Windows computer. I'm going to be using Windows 10, um, but the same te general technique should work on any version of Windows. So you can see I'm using it on the screen. It's really, really handy for teaching because it lets um, whoever's looking at your screen really see what you're talking about. And you can also record with this on, which is really handy for your viewers. Okay, so um, first of all, I'm going to turn mine off so that I can show you how to get the feature turned on. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the settings. I'm going to click on my Windows button in the bottom left hand corner and go to settings but you get there however you get to settings on your computer. Next I'm going to go into this ease of access area it might be called accessibility for you and now I'm going to go into the magnifier section. Unfortunately, to get this set up, you have to actually turn it on, um, which is a little bit inconvenient. You can't, I can't find a way to do the settings without having it on. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Views, and we're going to change it to Lens. That puts it into this mode that you see right here, and I find it's really the best for teaching. The next thing we'll do is we're going to pin it to our taskbar. So you see it down here at the bottom. You want to go ahead and go down there and um, right-click it and pin it to the taskbar. So hopefully you can right click and then choose pin. Mine says unpin because it's already actually pinned. So you go ahead and right click it and pin it to the taskbar and then we're going to come back and control a couple more settings. So once we see it in the taskbar we're going to either go to that settings button which you'll see here or this settings right up here. So this lets me fine-tune what it looks like. It um, does how much it's going to zoom and I like mine to be at about 200 and then it also lets you set the magnifier lens size. Now this size is going to be relative to your screen so I'm going to hold mine up in the top left hand corner so you can see what size I'm using. That's the size I particularly like. Now there's a couple more options that you're going to want to know about here so I'm actually going to hold down my Windows key and hit escape to turn my magnifier off. You'll see it still remains in my tray down here which is quite handy and now I want to show you a couple more settings that you're going to want to know about. So the plus sign, the, the Windows key and the plus symbol are going to make your magnifier zoom in. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean by that. I'm going to turn my magnifier on and then I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here's my zoom window and now I can hold down the Windows key and press plus and I'm going to be dynamically zooming in and then I can also do minus and zoom back out so that's what that does but really the one that's the most handy is turning it off so Windows key and escape is going to immediately exit your magnifier so I hope that helps you get started using the magnifier it does take a little bit of practice but it's really worth it thanks for watching and have a good day bye bye